questions about things. Okay. Is that your doing? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm worried, yes. Okay, um, how exactly does that work? Um, every year, by statute, we sell or offer for sale the real estate parcels that are at least three years delinquent in taxes. Okay, well, I mean, what happens on August 23rd? You're going to send some cops down and throw me out of my house, is that right? No, that's the date of the sale. Okay, what happens after that? Well, it depends upon whether or not there is a successful bid on your house. If there's not a successful bid, then we offer it again the next year. And if there isn't a successful bid that year, we offer it the next year. If after three years, you know, there is no, no purchase by anyone else, then at that point it transfers to the county trustee and then the county owns it. If there is a successful bid, if somebody would be here on the 23rd and bid the amount of your taxes, then you would have, they just at that time receive a certificate of purchase. They have one year that they have to wait for a deed. In that time, they have to do a title search. They have to notify you, um, you know, by certified mail and things that they've done it. And you have that one year to redeem the property. Even after it's been purchased by somebody else? Yes, because it's a certificate sale. It's not a deed sale. So they are the holders of the certificate of purchase, but they can't get a deed for a year. And that year is intended as the redemption period for the owner. So anytime within that year, until like August 23rd of 2022, the, the owner has, they can, I mean, there's a little bit of interest involved. Uh, it's eight, 8%, 8% on, it's 10% on the bid, 8% on subsequent taxes paid. So, I mean, they get their money back, you know, if the redemption process includes, you know, them getting, you know, their, their purchase price back with. Okay. And let's say I don't redeem this or cannot do so. What happens then? That's up to them. What, what do you mean it's up to them? Well, they, I mean, they get if, a, they, if they choose to go through, at that point, once they have a deed, I don't have anything to do with it. They've gotten the collector's deed, whether they choose to, you know, go through, um, uh, you know, like eviction processes or something like that. I, but, but I can't say because I don't have anything to do with that. Okay. Uh, what authorizes you to seize and sell my property? Um under this uh, thing you're talking about? Well, it would be, it's, it's uh, statute 140, the chapter 140 in Missouri revised statute. <clears throat> that is a copy of the U.S. Constitution. Okay. The Fifth Amendment prohibits what you are doing. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'll talk so, to the prosecuting attorneys about that. No, no. Um, are, are you going to hold your process until you talk to them? No. I mean, not at this point. I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know. You, you don't have any regard for the Constitution. That's not what I said. Well, apparently you're trying to hide behind a lawyer. Why? No, I'm not hiding behind anything. Why do you need to talk to them? Well, because I'm not going to do anything without them representing whatever action I take. And I'm not going to do that. Just a second. Let me get some help. Or, I'm sorry. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? I can take your number and contact you. Well, I'm, I want you to halt this process that is clearly against the Constitution. Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to agree to do that right here, right now. So I can take your. So number. you're not going to you're not going to regard the Constitution. I'm not I'm not going to respond to any of this right now without without talking to the prosecutor's office. Is the prosecutor or are you the uh, collector? I'm the collector. Right? Okay. Do you run this office or does the prosecutor? I run this office, and in legal matters, I'm represented by the by the prosecutor's office. The <clears throat> would you like for me to take your number? I, I would like you to quit doing an illegal act. Well, that's not going to happen right now. So I can take your number, or I can, you know, Let, ask let's you go, to leave. Let's go, let's go over there and talk to him then. I can't go over there. I'm here all by myself, and I'm here to collect taxes. 
I well, can't. I can't close my office door to go with you to the prosecutor's office. Then, then you can uh, at least you know put a note up back in twenty minutes. You know, this is this is literally can part I of take your job. Can your phone number? Do no. I know, who am I talking to? Josh Pointer. You saw the uh, it notice. It didn't have your name on it. It didn't. It did not. Look at it. That's P O Y. N T E R, yes. Okay, I'm sorry, so but you your name isn't on there. Then how, how do you know it's addressed to me then? Yes, I received it, but that. <laughs> I'm not going to play these games, Mr. Pointer. We're, we're not playing games, your, we're talking. If you want to leave your phone number, I'm happy to get some response together for you. Otherwise, we're done. You're trying to make me homeless. <laughs> I'm not trying. Yes, you are. It clearly says in the notice. You are going to take what is not yours and sell it. Prosecutor's not there? No, I'm not saying they're not there. I said I got their voicemail. It's Monday morning. There's a whole lot of fighting that goes on over the weekend. I'm sure they're busy. Yeah, could be, I guess. Um, they usually are. What um, were you Monday calling morning. him about? Just to get an immediate answer? Yeah. What were you calling about? Pointer, a Josh Pointer over here from Quarter, and he's having some real problems with my delinquent tax sale. And I wondered if maybe somebody would be willing to help me. Thank you. Thank you. And they call back. Actually, that was the sheriff's office. So, all I can tell you, Mr. Pointer, at this time is that's how much your 2018 real estate taxes are. And that's the amount that I would have to have before August 23rd to avoid it being eligible for the delinquent tax sale. <clears throat> you know, the re do you remember the reason that I did not pay this? I have no idea. We argued about this twice. We um, argued about your personal property. It, we, well, I've never argued with you about your real estate taxes. Well, it's and still, I don't want to argue about it now. I seriously don't. I'm happy to check this out with the prosecutor. I'm not any kind of a legal guru. If you'd like to leave your number, I'm happy to check on it and respond to you. But I'm not. You're, we're not going to come to any conclusion today. You're going to avoid the issue and pass it I'm off to somebody gonna, else. No, I'm not. I just, I am not prepared. I am not. I can't read this and tell you exactly what it means right now. It, it either means what it says or it doesn't. I would mean, you like for me to leave? Would you like to leave your phone number for me to respond? I'm happy to do that. How, how soon would you do that? I again, I have to communicate with the prosecutor's office. Okay, well, can you do this this week, perhaps? Oh, certainly. I mean, can we get it resolved by the middle of this week? I mean, I can't give you an exact date. What do you plan to do with your video? Okay. Post it on social media as a start. Okay. I mean, you're disregarding the Constitution after all. I'm not disregarding. What? I'm saying I'm not prepared to respond. I just need time. Would you like to leave your phone number and I get back with you? Or if you want to come back. But I, I can't, I'm not going to respond to this today. Well, either, either you regard it or you don't. Which is it? Would you be okay with me answering the phone? Oh, go ahead. I think she called you on me. Why would she do that? Um, I'm asking questions she doesn't want to answer. I don't or, know that. She likes to answer all kinds of questions. Um, well, this video will go on social media later. You can see it later. That you'll see that she doesn't. But anyway, she's on the phone with somebody else. So I was calling. Okay. 
So what's the issue? <clears throat> She's trying to render me homeless in complete disregard of the Fifth and Eighth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Fifth Amendment? Fifth Amendment. That document... The Eighth Amendment, huh? The Eighth is, oh uh, well. What's the Eighth Amendment? Uh, forbids cruel and unusual punishment and rendering someone homeless based on an accusation alone, among other issues she's disregarded. So you have major, saying you have paid your personal property taxes, right? Yes, but the Fifth Amendment prohibits her taking any action without due process. And she has specifically stated her intent to do so with that document. So what is the... So pretty much you haven't paid your taxes and it's saying it's kind no, of... No, I've been show. accused of not paying my taxes. Oh, have you paid them? That's not the... You, you There's only two things you got to do in this world, Mac. Die and pay taxes. Right? Well, let's say for the argument I have, and she says I haven't. What then? Well, when you pay your taxes, they give you all the stuff that says you paid your personal property taxes. Do you yeah. have that? Let, let's say for the record, nobody has it. Then what? Uh, she yeah, doesn't lose them because I've come in here for years of taxes and she has the records. So it's either you paid them or you didn't pay them. Where's the proof? Where's the due process? But you're still disregarding the Fifth Amendment violation. The 2019 taxes are 778.64 and the 2020 taxes are 776. What do you suggest? I suggest pay your taxes. Like I said, there's only two things you gotta do in this world: die or pay taxes. Die and pay taxes. Okay. I have to pay taxes. He has to pay taxes. Oh, sure, everybody's gotta pay, pay taxes. She has to pay taxes. What, what if I said she didn't wouldn't accept my payment? She demands to pay more than somebody else. Well, that's not for me to deal with. That's probably for an assessor to assess the property. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, let me. Hang on a moment. Write down the phone number, leave it for her. <clears throat> anyway, um, she's refused to go any further with this issue, so we might as well go out in the hall and uh, he wrote it down on a piece of paper for her. Anyway, I just Is this going on YouTube, yeah, eventually it might. Why? I've, I haven't been on YouTube. I'm just curious. Yeah. Been doing this for 13 years. I never, never made YouTube. Can you believe that? Yeah. I mean, well, I made Fox 4 and Fox 5. We, we ought 5. to go out here so she can, she apparently has other stuff to do. So Very busy woman. I know that. So we ought to go out here and talk. <laughs> anyway, the tax issue is not the problem here. I mean, sure, her and I are butting heads over the tax issue. The system is rigged against me already. That's a separate issue. I'm talking about the Fifth Amendment violations. Are you going to do anything about this? What Fifth Amendment violations are you talking about? The one that they're trying to sell your property on the courthouse steps because you haven't paid it three years of taxes? The lack of, the lack of due process. That's something you have to take up with the lawyer, sir. Okay, what if you can't afford the lawyer? That's for criminal want to be appointed for you. You know, is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking about what if you can't afford a lawyer? What do you do? There's tons of pro bono lawyers out there. there. There's tons of them that probably don't have to take a case and I can't find them. Okay. And I can't guarantee that I will get appointed a lawyer or get anything. Mm -hmm. What then? I've been through this several times over the past 10 years. I don't know what to tell you, honestly. Okay. I, honestly, I don't. I deal with criminal law. This isn't something I deal with. Isn't it a crime to disregard the Constitution? Seems to me your duty is to go in and arrest her. I'm not arresting her. For what? Fifth Amendment violations or attempt to do so? Attempt? I mean, I get attempt to do a lot of stuff, but it doesn't mean you get arrested for it, man. Unless you hurt someone or break into someone's house or steal something or whatever. An, an attempt to cr commit a crime isn't a crime? No, that's not what I'm saying. Uh, well, see, just because she's talking doesn't mean that there's a crime there. Okay, this this right here is civil between you and the courts, between you and the county. And what about the Constitution? The Constitution is a Constitution. Do you regard it or not? I do not regard the Constitution. Okay, what are you going to do about her trying to take my property without due process? 
You haven't paid your taxes in three years. I've been accused of not being paid my taxes. I, I mean, that's all I'm saying. You've been accused of not paying your taxes, and they sent you a notice. If you have nothing else to talk about, sir, I can get back to work. She needs to get back to work. The, well, she's back to work. And this is literally your work. I mean... No. I serve the citizens of Lafayette County, but I don't have... I have a lot of other stuff to do, okay? You, you were called over here to deal with me, okay? And you are dealing with me, and we're not done. Unless you plan to disregard the Constitution and just send me on my way. You can be on your way then. Are you... Is that an intent to disregard the Constitution? I don't see any criminal matters here that I have to investigate, sir. What... In a, an attempt to make me homeless, take my stuff without due process. I've been that's accused of not being paid. That's what I'm saying. You have to pay your taxes. You have to pay your taxes. Oh, okay. You find someone speeding on the road. You witnessed it firsthand. You and your partner here. All right. You plainly, he stops, he gets out of the car, he's busted. And may, we'll just say for the record, he's been going so fast that you instantly arrest him. I've heard rumors that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens to him then? What happens to him after he's arrested? Yes. They go to jail. And he gets a court date, right? Correct. Why? Because he's been accused of speeding. And you, just because you witnessed the first hand, two of you, you got it on video record, he still gets a court date. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Due process. You wouldn't throw him in jail. That's a $10,000 fine, 10 years in jail for you. You don't bypass the courts. You have a court date on here, too. Do I? Monday, August 23rd, 10 a.m. That's not a court date. Well, that's a date that you need to be here. Oh, no. That's a date of sale. Okay, where's no due process then? Your due process is to pay your taxes every year, like, like everybody else. No, I've been accused of not paying my taxes. She's saying you have, and you're saying you have. I will hire a lawyer, and that way you guys can. I have to hire a lawyer, have to pay extra money just to get due process. Yeah. Money talks. Is that what you're saying? Huh? Money talks. Is that what you're saying? No. You're twisting my words. Okay, then, we're done. Okay? You, we're done. If you're not going to deal with Lori Fagan and pay your taxes, there's no criminal issue here. Okay? Fifth Amendment? You need to leave it. If you're not going to, if you're not doing business, you need to leave. All right? What if I can't afford the lawyer? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what to tell you. But there's no criminal issue here between you and Lori. Well, then, I was right. Disregarding the Constitution and money talks. That's all I've learned today.